Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. It is Friday, last work day of the week. Come on, somebody. Hey, it is the Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people are going to be traveling, so make sure that you plan ahead and be safe. Today's verse, it comes to us from um, 1 John chapter 4, verse 12, and it says this. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love has been perfected in us. How do we know one another? We know one another by sight. No person, however, has ever seen God face to face. I mean, no one has ever crossed over into the spiritual realm, pierced into heaven and seen God. No matter what some may claim, no person has ever seen God. Even Jesus Christ himself declared that no man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. We find this in John chapter 1, verse 18. Now, while we can't see God, we can know God by his love. And how did he love us? He loved us by sending his only begotten Son into this world to pay our sin debt once and for all that we might be reconciled back unto God. How does God still love us today? By keeping the door of salvation open to all that believe and that will accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior. Then God implants his divine nature, the Holy Spirit, into the life of those that believe. And we honor Christ by living and loving just as he lived and loved. No, we we may never lay down our life for another person, but we can love them sacrificially by giving of our time and our resources, by reaching down and pulling someone up. Simply stated, we know God by love. And when we accept Christ, God puts his spirit in us and we grow and we grow and we grow more and more in love with God and love for other people. May others, therefore, see God in you today by how you love them. And may you have the opportunity to share the gospel, the good news, and to share your story of how you got to where you are today. And may God be glorified in all things. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse it would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.